Hello, it's Beverly from Beverly's Crafts, and I wanted to come on here today and continue to this series um, that I started with my go-to patterns. I had a video on my go-to patterns for baby and child, where I featured some baby hats, baby booties, and um, children's sweater. And I wanted to today feature my go-to patterns for blankets. Now, um, the, the, there's different uh, designers here. I don't design patterns. Um, and what I'll be doing is linking the uh, patterns below. All of these patterns are free patterns where you can download them and give them a try. So this first one that I really like is the Ocean Tranquility Afghan. And uh, I introduced this to my crochet club and a couple of ladies really enjoyed making it. This pattern is written in three different sizes. And um, let's see, does it have the dimensions on those sizes? Yes, it has um, a pet shelter or snuggy blanket, which is 18 by 21 inches. The baby afghan, which is a size that I made, was 36 by 36. And then the regular size throw is 60 by 60. And this pattern is made by Anastasia Knits, and I'm sure I said that wrong. Um, I will be linking the pattern below, but again, it's called the Ocean Tranquility Afghan. Um, the pattern, the stitches are double crochets and V stitches. Okay. The next one, I've made this so many times, and I'm not sure that the picture is going to come out really good on this. I haven't made it in multicolor. I've made it like in baby afghan colors, you know, blue and pink. And this is a free pattern from Lion Brand. It's called the Crochet Shell Stitch Baby Blanket. And as you can see, I have lots and lots of notes here. I've made it before. I've made it in uh, three-ply yarn, where I made it 40 inches square, and I used a size G hook. I've made a christening blanket out of it. I've made it out of four-ply yarn using an I hook. And I even made it out of Red Heart Super Saver using an I hook. Uh, for the number four ply yarn, I cast on 120 stitches. For the three ply yarn, I cast on 160 stitches. And I'm trying to see here. So this must call for um, five ply, bulky five, because originally it said. The original pattern said to cast on 80 stitches. But like I said, I've done it in 4-ply and 3-ply. Okay. And then this one here is a free pattern from Mary Maxim. It's called a Peekaboo Blanket. And I'm going to hold it up. Peekaboo Blanket. And this is the first pattern that I ever did with the scallops. It's not the best picture, but maybe you can see it right here on the edges. See, I did, did this. And it's a striped blanket. Um, I used an H hook with a number four yarn. And it called for a worsted weight yarn from Mary Maxim. But again, I've done it in multicolor yarn and it's just come out so good and this was the first pattern that I did I can't think what the, that's called but you guys know what I mean okay this one 
is a, is a waffle. A waffle color black blanket. So see they did gray, green, a darker gray, and a gold color. And this color black blanket came from Movarian Blue Canyon. Ooh, I guess that's Maria's. But you can see the font is a little strange there. But it's Maria's Blue Canyon. And I will give a link to this pattern below. Now what this did is this used uh, the Big Twist yarn. And the Big Twist, I believe, comes from Joann's. And in this case, it used uh, the four colors that you saw and a J-hook. So a J-hook is a nice size to work with. And it looks like I used multiple colors. I had a blue, orange, yellow, and white. And the dimensions of the blanket was 34 inches by 52. And we chained 97. So that makes a nice size blanket in the waffle stitch. Now this next pattern is from Plymouth Yarns and it's a free pattern. And you can see that anchor on the back. I, I used it and I copied on another piece of paper. <laughs> so that's when I went on my my cruise. <laughs> but anyway, Plymouth Yarns. Okay, Plymouth Yarns. This is called Hot Cakes. And I'm going to hold up another piece of paper and maybe you guys can see the pattern. But there it is, Hot Cakes. And I gave this to my neighbor. She was new to crochet. And this became her go-to pattern. And what this is, it's a one-page pattern. And you would chain 90 stitches. And she used the Hot Cakes yarn in this pattern. So I guess it's the Plymouth yarn. But what we did, we, we used a four-ply yarn. And uh, in this pattern, it calls for an L hook. And it was 28 by 32. So that's a small blanket. It's not a very large blanket. But it worked out good for her because what it is, is a single crochet, two double crochets. And then you skip two and you repeat. So chain on 90 stitches, two double crochets in the third chain from the hook, skip two, single crochet, two doubles in the next stitch. And you just repeat it. And you can see it makes a nice um, pattern there. And it was very easy for a new crocheter. And they will be linked below. Now this pattern here, this is the Granny Crochet, but this is the straight across, and again, I can't remember what those are called, but I did this blanket, this type of blanket, but I did this and it was so easy for me uh, to complete this style of crochet. Now I'm not a, a fringe girl so I didn't put the fringe on mine and you could make as many rows in each color as you would like and it also has a chart if you guys are into charts but you can just see it came out so nice and it was an easy pattern to follow. So this is a Yarnspirations and it looks like that they used a bulky yarn with an end hook. Well, I did it. I used a four ply yarn. Okay. And if you can see my notes, I used a four ply yarn and I changed, chained 126. And my blanket ended up being 36 across, with it, which that's what I like. And I went as long as the yarn was there. So this blanket in uh, the original pattern was to measure 54 by 60 using a bulky weight yarn, but I chose to use a four ply yarn and made it 36 inches wide. The wavy granny crochet blanket, and I'll have the pattern link 
below. And here I got two more for you. Now this one here I really liked a lot. But I felt like it was a yarn eater. So if you have a bunch of skeins or if you want to make a scrap blanket or whatever to get rid of stuff, this is a good pattern. Now this one used the Karen Cakes Chunky. And when I made this, I'm pretty sure that I ended up using a number four yarn. So I probably would use a J. But this called for eight balls of chunky Caron cakes and an in um, crochet hook. But I really enjoy doing this pattern. Now, you start in the center. And what you end up doing is you make three chains and then a double three chains and a double and in the next row you do the grannies in those three chains you know chain space you do three grannies three double crochets in that chain three space so your next row would be double crochet three chains double crochet and then the next row you would have the three uh, doubles in the chain spaces but it really is a nice looking blanket hopefully you can see it there really well but it is a yarn eater and again I would probably cast on or do a chain with number four yarn I would probably well you start in the center so just use number four yarn this starts from the center and also, they held two strands together, so no wonder it took so much yarn. So I would use one strand, and you start from the center, use your four-ply yarn, use a J-hook. I think you would be good. So this is the Marbled Modern Granny Square from the Crochet cr Crowd, and I'll link this free pattern below. Now this pattern I haven't made. This is from Premier, and this is the Sierra Keyhole Blanket, and this was in my Want to Makes, so I still haven't made it, but I think I really want to make it. It is an intermediate pattern, it calls for that puzzle yarn. Um, calls for five balls of that puzzle yarn using a J hook. And they want you to cast on 117 stitches, is what I wrote down. But see, what they're having you do is count it. So you would do multiples of 9 plus 3. So I must have did some math somewhere, and I decided that I would cast on 117. Now the puzzle weight yarn, I'm not sure if it's a 4 yarn. But if, when I'm going to make this, I'm going to use a four weight. And I'm going to be um, putting the link to the pattern down below. Okay, so there's some blanket pattern ideas. Um, I know that right now my crochet club, the guy that distributes our charity items, uh, is asking for hats and uh, blankets, the larger blankets. And so that's what we've got to get going on. So you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching my channels. Uh, my next uh, video is going to be knitting a hat using the magic loop. And I'm going to be using circular needles that are on the lo longer side. I know that some of the tutorials out there, they use the 16 inch and you just knit in the round. Well, I'm going to be showing you how to use any size circular needles to do the hat, knit, knitted hat and without DPNs. From the, from the beginning with the rib to the crown, no DPNs, all magic loop. And you don't have to run out and buy... Um, circular needles that you know are 16 inch to make your hat work whatever you have on hand with a circular needle I use them for blankets and 
uh, for shawls and all kinds of things. And I have not gone out and bought a pair specifically for hats.